That is unreal. Before. After. And in case you missed that, listen to the high end as I roll the volume off, so. Goes darker sounding, just adjusted the volume. And this is after. Unreal. This is an adjustable treble bleed from Marstronic. This tiny little thing, just in case you don't know, a treble bleed means when you roll the volume off normally, you lose all the high end. So if you're a player that doesn't roll the volume off, maybe you should play more and start using the volume because you're missing out on a lot, especially if you want to amp to clean up. Like uh, someone, like how Rabia plays with loads of drive, he gets his clean sound through a very dirty amp by rolling off the volume. With a treble bleed, you don't lose the high end. So if you're using a neck humbucker, this is a single coil, if you're using a neck humbucker, which is notoriously dark, and you roll the volume down, you might not have enough high end to cut through a mix, but with a treble bleed, you do. Should yeah. I put these on your nipples? Please don't. <laughs> Imagine that for a video. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can hear the treble goes a lot yeah. on that. Definitely. Yeah, and the cool thing about this is you can adjust how much where that high bit is. Because if you think, oh, that's really piercing, I don't hear that. And if you think, oh, there's too much treble, you can give that a little adjustment. That's where you turn the. Yeah. God, that's darker and quieter. It definitely brings a bit more volume, but I'm yeah. guessing that's where you'd adjust mm. the. Um, serious thing to bring it down. Mm. I think it's a cool idea. Do you want it in your guitar? Yeah. Or do you not? <clears throat> I'll add that. Nice. Which guitar do you want it in? This one's so I brought it. So what treble bleed does, it bleeds some of the treble back to the volume when you turn the volume down, because otherwise you lose a lot of high end. This one's a variable treble bleed, so it's got series and parallel little whoopy switches on. In fact, I'll give you the screwdriver, because I think you'd quite like to play around with that. Yeah, sounds like it's um, interesting. So the parallel one, that adjusts where that EQ notches, so where the treble bump is. So that's your EQ, really. And the series one is how loud that is. So think of a parametric EQ. You choose where the bump is and then choose how high the bump is. Sounds a bit pervy. You may be thinking, why spend £17.50 on a treble bleed when you can get them for a fiver? This treble bleed can sound like Fender, Sir, Kinman, Mojo Tone, Seymour Duncan, and anything in between. It does series, parallel, also, it can be solderless. The guy includes these, these come with it, sorry, these crocodile clips. They look a bit messy, but this is just for the demo and to make it easier to remove so you can adjust things. So you can click it on and click it out and see, you know, adjust your settings. I've got another version hardwired in here. This one's wired like Fender. This one here in this uh, Chapman is, is currently wired like Seymour Duncan. It's unreal and also I've done this one completely solderless, so if you don't like soldering, well, just put the cables in. Uh, the other one I've hardwired because I love a treble bleed. It's just unreal. If you think, I want a treble bleed, but I don't know quite which sound I want, you can adjust how much the treble bleeds. Like, and it's tiny, that is, so I'll do a close up, but that is really unintrusive. Also, it comes with sticky pads, so you can put it around the inside of the guitar. They're Velcro, so you can peel it off. But I've also fitted one in this guitar. This is a Sire that I've been heavily modifying. This is now nitrocellulose. It's got Tone Rider pickups. Sounds fantastic. I didn't like um, how the pots on this rolled off, so it sort of went, it, they used linear pots instead of logarithmic pots, so when you roll the volume down, well, the tone mainly, you lost too much at once. So these are both audio pots now or logarithmic pots. But I was like, well, I might as well put a treble bleed in. And this guy at Marstronic contacted me. He was like, do you want to try them out? I was like, yeah, it's a good time because I'm about to do a load of mods on this. I was literally about to take this out. Well, I had taken it apart. Um, I was just waiting for the pots to turn up to fit them. I'm also doing, I can't show you, but I'm doing a great guitar build off guitar and I want a treble bleed in that. It's just because I use the volume a lot, for me, if I'm turning the volume down and I'm losing all the high end, well, I'm not going to fit in the mix quite as well. It just, it's just such a good one. 15 quid. 
seventeen pound fifty. Sorry. Let's let's listen to this one. This is the Fender version. I mean, I rolled the volume down an awful lot there, so it's gone really quiet, but you can still hear the high end. Just, what a brilliant mod, £17.50. I just think it's such a good mod. It just makes guitar so much more usable. This I wouldn't have used in a rehearsal scenario, just because, like I said, when I rolled the volume down, I lost it all, so playing live would have been a problem. If I'm gonna roll the volume down and I'm not gonna cut through the mix, well, that's a bit of a problem. I know I could have an EQ pedal or adjust the amp. I don't wanna do that, I just wanna go, not have to turn around and adjust stuff. So having a treble bleed, it just made this guitar so much more usable. It comes with this A4 instruction manual, both sides color, like clear pictures as well. Also, three ways of wiring it. I've got to be honest, I didn't really bother reading any of this. I was like, right, which one of those do I want? Okay, that one makes the most sense to me. You can do it any of the ways. Some you need to solder, some you don't. So I was like, well, I want to solder the connections, but I might not want to solder the capacitor. I might want to change that out. You can do what you want. So like I said, that one's got the push things in, push connections. This one's all soldered because I'm going to have a treble bleed in it. Three different ways of doing it. Also comes with loads of different capacitors. So it tells you the values and all the sounds that come with that. It tells you how the series and parallel thing works, whether you want it on off, there's tiny little switches. And then it also tells you the settings to adjust it. So this is so cool, your settings, so that you can have it sound like Mojo Tone, Dimarzio, Sir, Fender, TV Jones, never heard of that one, Duncan and Kinman. For wh which capacity you need, how to set the dials on it. So I'll put that on the screen and you can have a look, but what an instruction manual. So if you don't care about it, just go right, Seymour Duncan have probably done it right, adjust the dials, five minutes and you'll be running. And if you are sort of into twiddling with things, read that, figure out what it does, and then go, okay, right, that's fantastic. And then you, I suppose you could you, you could push the wires in and then change it to soldered ones afterwards. It makes no difference, it comes with both. Just so easy. And the fact it comes with everything, <laughs> uh, I'm really impressed. This is the packaging it comes in. I'll put a link to this in the description. So this is the Marstronic treble maker. Tells you everything that's in the packet. So it's got the kit. Also six capacitors a tiny little screwdriver for adjusting things, the crocodile clips, if you need them, the adhesive Velcro and six capacitors. Love it. So you will see it in the Great Guitar Build Off. It will be in this Chapman, it sort of is, but it's crocodile clips, I want it soldered in. But this Sire, I'm gonna do a full video on the mods I've done to this, and it's just, this has gone from sort of unusable in a rehearsal situation, I'm being honest, which means I would never use it live. So rehearsal for me is a test run for a live thing. So yeah, I could, I could play this. This is an amazing guitar. Gone too far. Oh, so good. So good. <laughs> 